So when an update comes to Fortnite Battle Royale, the developers always give us patch notes. The problem is, some people don't use social media to see these. And even those that do, some people don't bother to read them at all. It's due to these reasons that some of the minor changes go unnoticed by a majority of the population. So before I get to the topic in this video, I want to ask everyone an honest question. And right after I ask this, please do me a favor and pause the video and answer the question in the comments. So the question is, do you know how to see the route of the battle bus? Please let me know in the comments either yes or no. Now obviously, the topic at hand is how exactly you see the battle bus route in Fortnite. Again, some of you may already know this, but surprisingly, a large amount of random players I encountered didn't. So I did 40 random squad matches over a week's time and I asked them all if they knew how to see the battle bus route. I wrote down their answers and I tallied the results. Of the 120 people that I asked the question to, only 28 of them said they knew how to check it. 56 people said no, they had no idea, and 36 people didn't have a microphone or they just didn't respond to me. Now it's actually really simple to do. You can only do it in the pregame lobby though. Most people like to whisk around in here, but if you're smart, you can plan your landing spot accordingly. All you have to do is bring up the map while you're on the pregame island. To do this on the PlayStation 4, all you have to do is click the touchpad. Once you've done this, the map will pop up along with a yellow line made of arrows. You can now see the path of the battle bus very clearly. You can also set your map marker in the pregame lobby as well. Once the game actually starts, the bus route disappears, but your marker will remain if you placed it. Now as to the usefulness of this, it just depends on your game mode. If you play solos, this won't exactly help as much as it could in other modes, such as squads. Still though, it's nice to see how close or far away your intended landing spot will be. For example, I love to land at Haunted Hills. So if I check the bus route in the pregame lobby and I see that it's starting at the northwest part of the map, then I'll land there. Now had it landed at the southeast part, there's a good chance I wouldn't have waited until the very end to drop. So it's great to know this information prior to the start of the match. Now in squads, it's even more beneficial. I'm sure all of you've been in a full party with your friends when the game starts and then the question pops up, where are we landing at? By the time someone finally decides, the bus is halfway through its route and you're late to the party. Of course, if you play with randoms, they still won't pay attention or mark where they wanna go and they'll just jump out wherever they want with no microphones nonetheless. Now I've seen a few people actually get upset on Reddit about this change. One guy said he actually liked that unplanned rush decision making involved prior to this change. He said it made for more random drops because of the limited time frame you had, which I guess I could agree with. Now my favorite aspect about being able to see the bus route is the fact that it helps you determine where all the players will be and where they'll be coming from. This type of knowledge is essential for getting a jump on people and anticipating their movement. Now someone on Reddit asked the developers why they implemented this change. And they said, quote, so that squads and duos who don't have microphones can ping where they want to land before the bus takes off. Like I said earlier though, random squad members are the worst and they don't usually give you any indication as to where they're gonna go. So overall, I'd say this is a great change. Of course, your opinion may vary, but I'm still surprised at how many people didn't read the patch notes and were completely oblivious to this change. I guess it's not often people bring up the map in the pregame lobby to begin with, but it's nice to know this feature exists. And if nothing else, this will at least give you even more time to decide to land at Tilted Towers.